So we live together. Yep. We watch football together. Yep. We talk about football together. Yep. Why don't we just start a podcast? Sounds like a plan to me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the eye test. Your boy Lies and my guy Culture Cams. Now, there was something that went absolutely viral on the internet this past week, and it came mm-hmm. from the man himself to my right. Hit tweet. Risky celebrity these days, man. Yeah, man. Uh, do you want to talk to them about what that tweet kind of consisted of, where you said it, et cetera, yeah. et cetera? Yeah, so basically it was, was on Inside Scoop with HP. And um, I was just said, listen, let's, let me ask a question to him and also to the viewers. So we said, who are the top five finishers in the Premier League when it comes to variety of finish? You know, so the different type of finishing, who has the deepest bag in terms of how they can score goals? And honestly, I was expecting like, 50 to 100 responses mm. mate that's on nearly like six thousand comments on instagram Fuck. it's on nearly 1 million views on it's on literally by the time this comes out it might be on a million views wow on twitter million like it had about two thousand comments like combined or quote tweets and right it was just went crazy tiktok it's going crazy i was like wow you know what i mean yeah. that, do you know what yeah it was actually really good to do that because it gave people people start looking at the nuances of the game. You're going coming from, and that's what I like. People start saying different reasons for, and it wasn't just like a basic, yeah, basic thing. So I liked it. So yeah, man, that's where it stemmed from. And obviously, you know, it's inspired this conversation that we're going to have now. So it's, yeah. it's fun, man. No, no, it was definitely a good tweet. Good, good conversation mm. as well too. And it kind of inspired me when we were thinking of next episodes for the eye test, because we're always trying to keep it different on this channel, I would say. Uh, in terms of different kinds of finishing and, variety it got me thinking what if we were to kind of build the ultimate striker in terms of trying to involve all the different kinds of things a striker has to do with mm. their finishing their hold up play their movement their athletic abilities what would the perfect striker look like and i figure we start post 2000 yeah so i got a question before we get into that yeah because we this is listen we like to keep it authentic here this is mm. something that we created probably within the last two hours yeah right? <laughs> honestly the last two <laughs> hours we've created this right yeah. so i want to know is it my own and your own i think or we should are do we that creating way. a combined one? i think we I, we know we often do combined and mm-hmm. often in the comments they're like you guys should do it against each okay. other and allow us to kind of vote and then make their own as well too. okay okay so i say we i mean if if you we have cross yours, I have mine, I don't know, i was gonna say if we cross in terms of like we have the is, same yeah. player then fine yeah. but we don't have to come to an agreement for this okay good okay good. so we decided we're keeping the agreement we'll do post 2000 just because that kind of like keeps everything that we've seen instead yes. of having to like speak on van vast yeah, yeah, we just don't yeah. have the we haven't seen enough yeah. uh and then we also figure as well too just like we typically do with our draft videos one player per category yeah. so you can't repeat drug by numerous times yeah you can't repeat on re- and also finally this is all players not just premier league yeah so this is creating the perfect striker yeah post 2000 worldwide yeah have i got everything covered yeah, that's good. <laughs> lastly apparently not <laughs> lastly lastly messi and ronaldo are not strikers no nah, thanks Thanks. That I need to put a disclaimer mm. out there. Messi and Ronaldo are not strikers, so they will not be in our list. Yep. So before we get any no Messi, but CR seven played yeah, yeah. Juventus no. strike. Shout out, Messi man. and Ronaldo. We are not putting as strikers. I know Messi did false nine. I yeah. know Ronaldo has done strike for the last five years, six years, yeah. but we're not doing Messi and Ronaldo. I like that. Strikers. I like that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Calm. That being said. We've cooked up a lot of categories, yes. man. In fact, we were even trying to trim it down, but at the end of the day, we said these are too crucial. Mm-hmm. And I think we you agreed. You have to get in your editing bag for this episode, you know, mm-hmm. because they're going to need to be able to keep track of yeah, yeah, no, of course, of what's on of the course. screen. The picture's going to be flying yeah. across the screen like crazy. <laughs> Starting off, the first category. Yes. Headers. Headers. Aerial ability. Aerial ability. Oh, you know what, right? And this is the thing as well, too, for this one. Sorry to interrupt you. This is one of those ones where people might say, oh, let's not get too nostalgic or whatever. Like, think about the strikers today. Yeah. This is one of those categories where I don't think you can even think of, of a lot of players today. Because I feel mm-hmm. like it's a dying guard for center that's, forwards. That's, that's very true. That's very true. I'm going to go for a striker for heading. Oh, there's a lot of great strikers yeah. heading. I'm even I'm looking back at it. There was some strikers that aren't even that like well known like you look at uh, Mackay's and stuff mm. in the air they were very good i know people probably think of that i'm talking about rory Mackay, rory Mackay. so 
I can't look further than Didier Jogba. I know. I know you're looking, <laughs> but the thing is, I have another person, but I want him somewhere else. Yeah. So I've grown to go for Didier Jogba when it comes to aerial ability. And the reason I'm going to go for Jogba, not only because of how good he was in the air scoring, mm-hmm. he was so good defending. Mm-hmm. Like Jogba at the near post, like you used to have to cross it far post because at the near post defending for Chelsea, he was unbelievable, bro. Like mm-hmm. there's been some really good strikers defending the near post. Yeah. Van Persie was really good at that as well. There's been some really good ones. Harry Kane is quite good at that as well. But I got to go Drogba because of the whole combination defensively offensively and his flick ons. Mm. Frank Lampard ate food yeah. off of off, off, off Jogba Estra flicking still. on the ball or, or Robin running on beyond whatever. Jogba just had the whole complete package of heading ability. So I've got to go I've got to go do the Jogba for that. I got Jogba as well. Too. As well. Yeah. Yeah, it's got I got I got a, an honorary mention though. Iconic honorable, goals as well. Yeah of course wow. right. No Drog, Drogba the, the, the leap like a seven yeah, bro. honestly yeah. the power he could generate from the yeah. near post was just sensational. Like, mm-hmm. I, we always bring it up on this podcast. I think we brought it up like six times mm-hmm, now. That, mm-hmm. that flick, that, that header against Bayern in the final, how he generates that much power from a, f- a corner that's basically like he's leaping away from it. Yeah. But um, I want to give an honorable mention because I don't know if I can fit him in, even though for me, he's one of the most lethal strikers on in his prime of the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. Radamel Falcao in the air, bro, was disgusting. He was bro. Mental and he's not the biggest guy as well. No. Like Drogba, you look at him, a monster of a man. Like he has to be good in the year. Yeah. Falcao wasn't that tall, but A, his his leap, and B also again, like how he would be able to like, yeah. like his neck muscles mm-hmm. grow really, really top striker yeah. in the air. But I have to agree. And his used to be unorthodox as well. He used to oh, head yeah. the ball in like weird yeah. ways. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's like falling, falling backwards. backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, falling back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now Falcao yeah. is one for me. That's in a really the, good one. Yeah. Is, is really good. But I have to go drug buzz yeah. well too. And Drogba. I think you summed it up pretty well. Yeah. Monster in the air. Drop <laughs> Secondly, and to be fair, this is one that he could probably fall under as well, too. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah, he, could, he could be here as well, too. This man. could be Jogba. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be Jogba right there, too. You know what? I'd, love, I'd actually... Yeah. You know, at the end, I might have to do some rotation. Yeah. I'll just swap, <laughs> swap it around. Wow. Hold up. Hold up play. I think Giroud hold up play is incredible. Good Giroud point. was like a wall, bro, at times. Like, in terms of... The way France utilized him as Good just point. a guy that everybody could play off of, the way uh, Arsenal as, as well did too. I think Giroud, because he's not an elite level striker, he's mm-hmm. not first to mind. But in terms of hold up play, that's a good point. He might be there. Uh, it might of, actually of be course. him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Giroud is a good. He one. serviced teams yeah, because no, no, of how Giroud, he could play with his back to goal. Flicks. Yeah, incredible. I think, he, incredible. I think he's got the best flicks I, I've ever I seen. I think I might put Giroud for hold up. Yeah, play. I think in terms of like flicking flicks, he might have the best flicks I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, not when it just, it, it's just up come, there. It's up there for just sure. Just be able to flick the ball it's so up there. well. And I'm sure you guys are screaming a lot of names because there's also some some names I'm yeah, thinking of. of course. But I want to leave them for the rest of the video. Yeah, you have to yeah, remember yeah, that you yeah. can only use a player once. Yeah. And Giroud, if it's not for this, I'm I'm not using Giroud. You know, I'm gonna for now. My place hold up, Giroud. Mm. Yeah, we'll go. Drew. I'm, I'm gonna have to go share There's that. There's no one else like that you can think I'm of. Thinking because the, the rest of them like are just like big number nines. But are they? Ne- and one of them I want to use already again somewhere else. But are they like? Do they have the whole complete whole package? Play. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Maybe they can flick it on. Maybe they can control it on their chest. But have they got the whole thing like a Giroud? I don't mm. know actually. Giroud I think I'm gonna really go with Giroud, man. Yeah, I think no, Giroud I think is the Giroud one that came to one. mind. Yeah. So Giroud for hold up play. I didn't. Wow. I don't think Giroud ever thought in his wildest G- dreams he'd be making this. the perfect striker list. But you're on mine, buddy. <laughs> okay. Now this one is going a bit more vague, but right foot, the right best right foot, foot for a striker. The best right foot for a striker. I've got. I'm gonna go Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. I'm going Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney, in terms of what he could do with his right foot, I think he could do absolutely everything. You know, when we were talking about the variety of finishing, that question that I asked, variety of finish, I think Wayne Rooney is the most common name that was there. Yeah. I think he was like the ball. unanimous decision was Wayne Rooney. Mm. I think whips, shots across his body, shots across the near post, volleys, every single thing you can think of he could do with that right foot Tribbling Chips, as well too, the, yeah. the 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 composed one you know with the goalkeeper's about to sit down he'll lift it you know he could do every single thing he can i don't think there's nothing he can't do with that right foot so exactly he could even run with the ball as well yeah. so if you're creating a yeah. perfect striker the right foot that you want is my rooney is wayne rooney's wayne right rooney. foot yep 
Uh, that's a really good one. That's my one. Sure. That's, a, that's a really, really good yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, variety. I'm mm. telling you, when it comes to variety, you will struggle to... If I know I said it for Premier League, yeah, but, but just if general, you did an all-time one, I think he's in the top five. He's still, striker, yeah, uh, I think he's still in the top years. five when it yeah. comes to variety of what he can do. I find it hard to argue. So if I go right foot for Rooney, who you got for left foot? Left foot. Because obviously there's not... You know what? For me, it's easy. You, you go Van Persie. Yeah. I'm going Van Persie. Yeah, no. I, I think it's Van Persie. First of all, there's not that many left-footed strikers that are elite. Like I don't think... Well, can you think of, of many other ones? Left-footed. I like Raul's left foot. Oh. I like Raul's left foot. I mean, Haaland. Yeah, of course. Of course <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. like elite level left-footed forwards. I like Raul's left foot. Really? I like Raul, man. I think Raul. I'm going RVP for that one. Yeah, know? nah, you can go. And I know there's a category that, that, that he could easily fall yeah, into. You can, going go, you can go there. I, I think I'd go RVP left foot because RVP. But who are you going right foot? Uh, Rooney, I would go. You're right going to go Rooney as well, yeah? I would go RVP because similar to what you say about Rooney in terms of his ability to carry the ball, yeah. strike the ball, protect the ball. RVP is an excellent footballer. Man. Yeah. Like one of the most technically proficient footballers as a striker that I can ever remember. Yeah. Dribbling, he could dribble. Passing, he was a terrific playmaker. Strikes, whips, volley. Like, bro, his left foot was a one, bro. Yeah. The thing is, I have someone for left foot, but I, he might fall into another category as well. So it's so hard. I mean, he might not. And that, that, here's the thing you got to be careful of. Mm -hmm. You might get to that category and decide he doesn't fall for that either. And then you don't get to use him, period. I'm going Van Persie left foot. Van Van Persie. Mm. You know what I'm going to go? I'm going to go Adriano. Oh! I'm going to go Adriano. But he could fall under. He's going to fall under. Yeah, that that's crazy. You know, that's tough, but I'm going to go Adriano, yeah. yeah. Adriano, when it comes to the left cannon. foot. Oh, it's man. a cannon, bro. That was a bullet. That was a, <laughs> that was a bullet. And the thing is, people sleep. He could actually finish as well. Oh, he bro, was, of course. Yeah, he was really good at finishing. He was a good dribbler, dribbler yeah. as well. It was a bit more power running, yeah, but yeah. he was a dribbler. So I'm going to go left foot. I think, do you know what? I think it's just so iconic and synonymous with him. You know, how many players have that certain thing about them in the game? You know what I mean? I just think, you just think about John, you just think about the camera. Pez. You just I think, think Pez. You just think, Pez, <laughs> you, just think, you just think about that. So, I get Van Persie choice, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. but I just I think, think Van Persie's Adriano, left foot as a whole. You talk yeah. about the way the way you talked about Rooney for me. That's the way I view Van Persie's left foot. Like yeah. it's a wand for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go Adriano. Okay, go Adriano. Sure, so sure, we can sure. differentiate. Mm. We've had a few of the same ones. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go. Uh, okay, next. So we we did right foot. Who has mm -hmm. the best right foot? We did left foot. Who has the best left foot? Who, whether they're right footed or left footed. Whose weak foot is the best? So if you're right foot, who used their left foot the best or vice versa? That might be right in my mm. That might be right in my You know which one Falcao. you're thinking of that? That little, where he cut it onto yeah, his left yeah. against Czech and then oh, finessed he it. He had yeah, a yeah. really good left foot. He did, he a did, left he did, foot, he did. a weaker foot finishing. Yeah. He was really, really good. I think Falcao. You know, statistics. Uh, there was some, yeah. you're gone, bro. Well, I was going to stay. Funnily enough, because I said um, no statistics, but if we're going statistically, mm -hmm. it is Harry Kane in the Premier League, at least. I yeah, mean, he has the most okay. weak foot goals he does, he does, in, yeah, in yeah. Premier League. But Falcao is a really good one, man, because I can think of a lot of finishes, even like chips, finesses. That's I feel, I feel like that's, that's, that's yeah, exactly yeah. where I was going to go. I feel like Falcao was able to, you know, when you use your weak foot, and I think this is a thing with Van Persie, and I think it even might be a thing with Kane to an extent. I do remember one mad left foot goal he scored, but they just you put your foot through it. But Falcao was able to show a calmness with the weaker foot mm -hmm. as well. And that is a rare quality to have and in, in any weak foot. That's why when I see you doing that left foot flip flop, I'm like, <laughs> how do you do that? I let them know, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Say yeah. that again. Say that again. Left footed <laughs> flip flop, bro. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I don't know how you... Because when you have to do stuff that's like calm and stuff yeah, with your yeah. weaker foot, it's very hard of to course, do. Instinctive things. You can do it. Yeah. You got coming from like, just oh, leverage, whatever. But actually being able to have that take a deep breath and lift it over the keeper of your weak foot or just whip it with your weak foot, that is not an easy skill. Not at all. By any means. So for now, I'm going to go Falcao with, my, with the weaker foot. I think you've missed the, comp like Ooh, the okay. easiest one of all time here. Wow. It's David Villa, bro. I had him in my mind, you know. Nah, it's David Villa, bro. I had him in my you mind. You know, David Villa, there's a story that I'm pretty sure like he broke his right foot and yeah. he just continuously played with his left yeah, yeah, yeah. until it was just as I good. I literally had him in my mind. It was literally between him or... Nah, or Villa Falcao. for me is like, bro, it's scary how, how weak-footed he yeah, is, man. Yeah. Like for me, okay, Cazorla is the most two-footed player I think I've ever seen. Dembele for, is well, isn't it? Yeah, true. Yeah. But he's so bookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, well, but, but 
via yeah. left foot, right foot. I'm going David Villa for this yeah. one. Yeah, I Honestly. actually, bro, that's so crazy because I actually had it in my mind. I was like, oh, yeah. David Villa. Then I was like, mad. Let me nah, go with nah. thing. David okay, Villa cool. weak foot was, yeah. was a thing of beauty. Okay, man. that's calm. Um, it's good to have different ones anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, very no, of good. Course. Okay, this one is probably where I'm going to take one that you've already gone for. Power finishing. Your okay. ability to just literally lace it. Put your foot through yeah. the ball. Screamer. <laughs> it's hard to look past Adriano for uh, this one. Yeah, man. That is good. tough. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, Shearer is a, is a good shot as one. well, too. Alan your, Shearer. Yeah, oh, my. Just lacing it. Uh, yeah. Go and look at Alan Shearer's goals, people, and count on how many. How, how, you could probably count on your hands how many are, are finesse shots. Mm. <laughs> he is a. He bangs the yeah. ball like with so much power and the ball barely moves he could do it from free kicks as well like lay him off he's hitting that go and check his goal that he scored against man united at old trafford almost ripped the net almost ripped it it was disgusting right so i think and he can also hit the ball on the volley he's got some iconic volleys as well i've got to go i have got to go alan Shearer when it comes to power finishing Crazy, I, yeah. I have to yeah do you know who else we, we slept on Gabriel Batistuta. Oh, Batty goal could smash a Gabriel ball, bro. Batistuta. Oh my God, wow. that's a great show. Batistuta, that's a great bro. Show. I really wanted to put him, so I look like niche. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I've got to put Alan Shearer, especially because I saw of it more, more saw it more. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I've got. <sighs> Ooh, there's another Zlatan's power finishing. Is yeah, insane, Zlatan, bro. I'm saving for one in the future because Zlatan mm. falls under a lot of these. Yeah, he to be does. Honest. Zlatan yeah. could be. It could be Hold him. Up, this heading, could just be all Zlatan. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. yeah, honestly, if you're making a striker in a lab, yeah, you'll be looking like Zlatan. Yeah, a lot of a lot of it is Zlatan. So, but Correct. I'm gonna go Alan Shearer. Yeah, I'm gonna go Alan Shearer. Yeah, I think I have. Trust to, me, I, guys. You need to uh, see. You need to see that level of of, of power finishing. I man. think I have to go Adriano, man. Just mm. going off what you said, man. Honestly, like you look at this guy's goal catalog, mm -hmm. and he's taking free kicks from thirty yards out. Yeah. He's hitting goals on the half volley every time he gets the ball. Like, bro, you can watch a, a, a goal catalog, and like, there's like ten screamers in a row, mm. and they're all from the same season. It's not like his career highlights. Mm. The way that guy struck a ball, man. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's that's obviously I've just said that as yeah, well. Crazy. Other, that's that goes out saying. All right, cool. Next one. The next one that we got, let's go the opposite of power finishing, finesse, the R1 circle, yes. your ability to, to curl it, whip just it, just to ball. whip it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a, there's a, I mean, like, I feel like all of these strikers yeah. can do it. Van Persie can do yeah, it. Yeah, Van Persie had a beautiful whip. The thing he was slept on, um, I think Shevchenko could, fin could, could do it of as course, well. He was course. really good at that as well. Um, oof. This is, where, this is where I think Raul was really good as well. Mm. Raul, I'm telling you, he has such, like, you know, the definition of cultured finishers. Like, Raul was so cultured. I want to put him in. Um, I mean, Titi. Thierry Henry, it has to when be. When I think of finesse. Finesse, it has to be. But then like, he can fall into another category too. But I think for this one, this is like trademark for me, bro. Honestly, like when I think of opening up your hips and just placing the ball with, with the inside of your foot, I just think of Titi, man. That's you know that, that's the because the I want to put Henri somewhere else. Really? I'm gonna go Dennis Burkamp. I'm gonna go. Does oh, Burkamp start as a striker? striker? Do we're gonna, I don't think so because for okay, me that's cool. when you open it up to Del Piero. Okay, and, cool. That's that's fair. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. That's, you know who's good at that as well? Nicholas and Alka. Really oh, yeah. good at whipping oh, the ball. Yeah. Oh, really yeah. good. Oh yeah. I go. I go to Henri. I think it has to be Henri. I think it has to be Henri, bro. Via was really good at finessing was, as well, what, too. Vina, Via about is Via. really good at those I was at, at thinking those about Via as well. I was thinking, should I put David Via Via would actually be really good for this I've category. Because I've got man. Henri for other ones. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go Titi for this one. I think All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go David Via. Because uh, you didn't use, uh, yeah. Yes, I'm going to go David Via for this yeah, one. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. For now, anyway. Speed. Speed. Yeah. I think Michael man, Owen is a really good shot for this one. Peak Michael Owen was just a blur. You know, you know the one I might go for this one, right? Yeah. You might argue that there's faster players, but mm -hmm. when I think of like really peak athletes, like you know how we talk about building the perfect striker. If you were to build the perfect build for a striker in mm -hmm. a lab, in terms of like their their body, how mm -hmm. strong they are, their height, their speed, yes. I think Fernando Torres, bro, in wow. terms of like the prototype of what you would want your striker to look like yeah. and play mm -hmm. at his best. I mean, bro, the things that guy did to Vidic, man, yeah. you couldn't keep up with him at times, bro. Like when yeah. he was at his best, yes. To be honest, like I feel like his finishing at times, like he was a streaky finisher yeah, at times, yeah, in my was. opinion. But really, what made him so good at his best before the injuries just killed him was he was like a gazelle at times, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know how we talk about perfect running style? I feel yeah. like Torres had a 
Like he just was a perfect athlete. At yeah. Times. So you go Torres. I think I might. I think Speed, I might. Speed because I want to put people elsewhere as well. I'm going to Erling Haaland. I'm going to go Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland is a is a bully. You know I'm not going Erling for this one because if we're doing speed and strength, I, Ooh, strength for me, Haaland fits the strength Ooh. bro. That guy's I, I, that guy's a monster. Yeah, bro. I'm going to go speed for Erling Haaland. I just think you guys need to see him oh, in the transition. He is r- ridiculous. Have an actual flat foot race for a ball with Haaland. He's he's dusted nearly everybody pretty yeah. much. Like I think how many people have kept up with him on a on a sprint in the Premier League like. We all talk about that video of Saliba barging him, but let's not forget he barged him. You didn't want no foot race with yeah. him, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, Erling Haaland, transition goals. It's how powerful is the how, runner is. Bro, he's six foot four. Like, the, the way he can stretch his legs, I got to go Haaland, man. Like, in terms of just fright trains of a striker, yeah. I can go him. Even, it's funny enough, like, but even in his peak, Romelu Lukaku was absolutely rapid. 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 Yeah, Michael yeah. Owen, as you mentioned, was yeah, absolutely rapid. gone. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to go on Haaland, though. For, for 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 pure speed in his prime as well r9 was ridiculous by the yeah. way when it comes to speed mm-hmm. um obviously we're not including Kylian mbappe i'm not going to do all these like random fifa players that you guys might have like shawari or something yeah. like, i'm not <laughs> doing that Aubameyang in his peak was yeah. very quick but erling Haaland oh obama yang is yeah. ridiculous yeah. actually in his peak, he was gone. Oh no, I'm he sorry torres i'm going obama yang here obama-yang. bro obama yang at, yeah. at his fastest he at dortmund gone. That guy was a cheetah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was rapid. I'm going to go Harlem, though. I'm still going to go. I'm going Obama Yang. I, for, I completely Yang. forgot about yeah, Obama Yang. He was gone. Wow. No, nah, he you was. You think Yang would have blown Harlem? That's a good race. <laughs> That's a good race. Because you know what it is? It's like. The legs. Stri- it's the like, Usain Bolt team. Yeah, you know he's got the legs. But Obama Yang is like, he's light, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. my. That guy was lightning, yeah. bro. Strength. Strength, I'm going Harlem. That one, I'm, I'm going, going for Harlem. Lukaku could fall into, under this one as well, too. He Big could. guy, man. He could. Yeah. Lukaku could really fall. Or, or Akin Fenwa. Yeah. You know, I'm sure I'm not playing yeah, Akin yeah. Fenwa. Akin one. <laughs> no. um, strength. Pure strength. You know? I think Haaland for me. I remember, I remember there was this striker. I don't know if you would know him. He called Jan Kola. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, he was He was uh, a monster. Yeah, yeah, He was a big guy. There's, the thing is, though, there's so many people. Like, you remember, like, big Duncan Ferguson mm-hmm. and stuff. But, yeah. you know what I mean? I want to keep the quality high. Lukaku is a really good one. Yeah. Like, you rarely see Lukaku get moved off the ball. But the problem is, like, his hold-up's not the greatest But it's not hold up. It's yeah, I strength. know. Yeah. yeah, pure strength. Because you already got yeah. someone else. You already got Giroud's yeah. hold up. This, yeah. You're building the perfect striker. Yeah. Whose strength do you want on this guy? Strength. That's why for me, Erling is just... Yeah. Uh, bro, I can I can never get that clip. Because... Was it against Brighton or Palace where he yeah, nudges yeah. that guy to the ground and then runs past the goalkeeper? The, I can yeah. never get that out of my head. That was embarrassing for that defender. Man. Nah, bro. That's a grown yeah. man's strength right there. <laughs> I'm going to go Lukaku. Yeah. Lukaku. For now, I'm going to put him out of place all day, yeah. Let's go for... Oof, volleys. Now, this one is tough, man. This one is really tough. Because Van Persie could have... Did you use Van Persie or no? No, you I didn't. I used him, no. This might be the That's one, what I'm saying. This, this might, might be the be, one. He's got a couple. Rooney, Across the body. Rooney. Yeah. You could really put Rooney in this one and yeah. take someone else's right foot. Yeah. This one I'm going Zlatan. Oh, man. Because if you talk about acrobatics, just lacing a ball in the air, just the contact that he could First make contact, when the ball yeah. was in the air, Zlatan for me is the best. He's the best, man. It's the variety of volleys as well, yeah. too. Like Van Persie, to be fair, Van Persie, nah, hold on. Let me not disrespect Van Persie. Van Persie. That Persie Charlton jumped in the damn it, air. Yeah, that Charlton one is fucked, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Zlatan's good. I'm going to go with Van Persie to differentiate. Yeah, fair is fair is fair. I'm, I'm going with Zlatan for that one. I, Have I got Zlatan in mind yet? I don't I think so. Zlatan you've you've been saving category. that one up, bro. Movement. No, wait, hold on. Zlatan might fall into my strength. Zlatan might fall into my strength, He's a big you know? guy. I just wanted to use him for volume. Yeah. Someone else for strength. Is Zlatan stronger than Lukaku? Do you, when do you ever see either of them get like really shifted nah, never, off the ball? Never, 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 never. Who uses their strength better? I would say Zlatan. Who like who, you know what? I'm coming back to yeah. I'm coming back because I think Lukaku, for as big as a guy as he was, like. I feel like at times he didn't want to play hold up. He didn't want That's to get what involved. I mean. physically. He, didn't want to get he would involved rather like physically. play he more to be on, like the, on the, the last man. line. Or, yeah, yeah. this is what I'm saying. <laughs> right, I'm gonna keep it there for now, but right. at the end we'll see. Let's go movement. This one I have one in my head immediately. 
movement. Can I tell you? Yeah, everybody knows that's good. I know you're gonna say right now. Ka- Cavani. Oh, of course. Cavani. Cavani. Yeah. Cavani. Bro, Cavani's yeah. instincts in terms of bro, the anticipation. The the guy. You. I think for me, when I think of Fox in the box, mm. it has to be Cavani. Man. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. Because you look at him. Honestly, Cavani scored a lot of goals, but he wasn't a reliable finisher for me. I've seen games where Cavani misses the most mind blowing finishes, but. Also, he creates his own goals almost without even, without you don't even need to create for him, bro. Yeah. His movement just gets him chances out of nothing. His understanding of where to be, how to read the flight of a ball, how to, how to even like anticipate where his player is going to even put it without even without him even swinging his boot. Mm-hmm. Cavani was something. I've, maybe people is up there too. People and Zaghi in terms of anticipation is fucked as well too. Excuse my language, yeah. but Cavani, Paul, man, Inzaghi is a crate is is. A- yeah, Inzaghi's there as well too. Inzaghi, there's um, Rude. Let's oh, not yeah. forget. Oh, I think yeah. I might have to go Rude. Yeah, I, I know Rude's your somebody guy. Somebody for speed. Yeah, <laughs> it's bugging me now. Who would you? Who would you forget? Bro, oh, we could forget Samuel Eto. Yeah, oh, man. in his peak. Yeah, Eto his... was Eto was a, a jaguar. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even his movement was unbelievable. Yeah, no well. movement is a tough one, bro. Yeah. Honestly, most of these elite strikers. Like you're gonna laugh like at Harlan could go into the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, of oh, course, man. one thousand percent, one thousand percent. But Cavani for yeah, me, Cavani in terms is, of somebody yeah, that crazy. like, because you look at the rest of his game, I don't think he was. Oh, in, in the, hold on, heading as well too for yeah, Cavani, he did have messed, yeah. messed up. Yeah, but his movement is just something that always stuck yeah. for me. That like, uh, for me, I'm gonna go Ruud Van Nistelrooy. The reason why I'm gonna go Ruud Van Nistelrooy is because. You gotta think about it. Van Nistelrooy had no ex- like real explosiveness to his game. Mm. How do you score that many goals? It's because of how smart you are in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you the first ever of alongside Inzaghi, the first fox in the box that you're talking that I saw was Rude Van Nistelrooy, yeah, bro. Yeah. The guy, <laughs> he only scored guys. No, he for Manchester United he did not score a goal outside the box <laughs> until he got to Real Madrid. That's when he started scoring. Somehow he just unlocked some outside the box package. I don't think he scored one goal outside the box of Manchester United. So if you're talking about pure movement in the box, that is incredible. He, one thing about Cavani is that with his movement, he had that explosiveness to it. So in a way, I'm not saying he had less IQ than Man United. That's not the, that's not the case. But he has that kind of advantage of... But I'm, uh, Cavani was a bit explosive. Yeah, yeah. Manistere was just kind of crafty yeah. with it. Like He just knew where to be at the right... Every single time the ball dropped, you knew it was dropping to Rude Van Nistelrooy. And mm. it's just a crazy knack for it. Crazy. I know he's got a big nose as well. So it's a crazy nose for goal. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He had a crazy nose yeah. for goal. So I'm going to go Rude. I've I got, I got to put my favorite striker in there. Next one, I'm going to go 1v1. Oh, we're doing 1v1 yeah, still. Yeah, I decided to include it. R9. 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 R9, bro. R- 83. R flipping nine, oh, man. 83 <laughs> goals sitting down the goalkeeper. If you can score, uh, like, that's like a, what did they say, a third or something like that, or whatever it was, 80 goals plus he scored by sitting down the goalkeeper. Bro, when, that means you're ice cold. That yeah. means there's, there's, there's. That's like increase my bro, rent, bro. It's not enough for me yeah, to just finish. I there's, need there's, more, right? Bro, there's something <laughs> yeah, else yeah, yeah. Your heart, Your heart you. don't beat the same It don't the beat us, the bro. same. Yeah, yeah. To be going past the keeper like that, a lot of times when you see it, people just, they're running, they're thinking, okay, place it there, place it there. Yeah. He's thinking, I'm going to get to the last minute and take you on. No, that's Do you no, know it's, how insane it's not that even is? just the because fact if you that see you, some of bro. them, yeah, they're not all like they're not all like instinctive. Oh, I ha- you know, sometimes you get a through ball, yeah. you have to knock it. No, he's, he's running he's towards looking you. Looking the goalkeeper in the eye. Step over, yeah. step over, step over. Yeah, right. he's running, he's Matt. running towards you as the goalkeeper, <laughs> and he's gonna take you on. <laughs> it's, bro, it's, it's insane. Yeah, yeah. It has to be R9. There was never, and I don't think there ever will be a better one v one finisher nah, crazy. than R9. And R9, nah, R9 hurt me it. to wait this long because forget we're talking it. right foot R9. Yeah, speed R9. R9. <laughs> yeah, you can put him. You mean nearly everything? You could put every single one, but. I didn't know we were gonna put this. Actually, we, I didn't know we were gonna do this again. One v one. Oh, okay, go on. Just come on, go on. Skills. This is where our nine should be, bro. This is what I'm saying. This is where our nine <laughs> should be. But you know, be. I want to. I want to show love to all these guys. Yeah. So I feel like if I put our nine skills, then like, I, this is where I'm putting Benzema. Technical ability, mm. flair. Yeah. Invent, like, bro, Benzema. Zlatan skills. Of course. Crazy. But I already used them. So long day. True. Now I'm going to go Zlatan here. Did you use Zlatan yet? No, I haven't used Zlatan. 
I'm so you chose Lukaku yeah. for strength. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go Zlatan here. Zero no, Zlatan. You, you already spoke about Benzema, yeah. but like Zlatan, the way he could like drag it. You remember that crazy Ajax goal as well. The way he could drag the ball, the way he can flick flicks and stuff. Yeah. These are skills. The way yeah. like bro, the ball be in the air and he can back bro, heel Zlatan it in the middle got of the Rab- air. Rab- Rab- Rabonas. He got Rabonas. Elastico. Was like. Bro, you, you shouldn't you, be no, doing that at 6'5", bro. Uh, he's, a, he's a unicorn. Do you remember that? Uh, you remember how Eric Cantona used to do the Joga Bonito mm-hmm. uh, advertisements and yeah, stuff like yeah, that? Yeah. And there was it that was one. Was, no, you remember the one where it was Cristiano Ronaldo mm-hmm. and Zlatan with the skinhead? Skin, and yeah, they were going yeah. back and forth yeah, yeah, doing yeah, yeah. the skills and stuff like that. And Zlatan yeah. was like balancing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, he went and then at the, end, at the end, he, was, he goes like that. Yeah, oh, that ad was crazy. You can't be that. You can't be that big, yeah, and that technical. It doesn't make sense. He's the most unique striker I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you can argue. Be, no, for me, it's not In even terms of talent. Bro, I've never seen a guy of that height. Shouldn't be able to do that. That graceful, mm-hmm. that technically, like, and people forget too, he was fast as hell when he was younger, bro. That guy was, for me, the most complete striker I've ever seen in my life. Zlatan, for me, has got to be the one for skills. Yeah. Um, if it's not R9, because, yeah. come on, R9 is just, <laughs> insane. You know what I mean? If it's not R9, it's got to be Zlatan. Obviously, we're going 2000 onwards, so you're not going to say like Romario and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I didn't get to see him enough but i'm thinking if you're just talking about i didn't get the chance to see skill. him when he was at the club but uh, <laughs> <laughs> i definitely knew that <laughs> but i definitely think when it comes to pure skills of zlatan's bag for that was was uh, incredible mental. he even started showing it a little bit at man united he tried a little few mm. things so i gotta go zlatan's skills. audaciousness man uh set pieces now this is where Thierry Henry is coming for me really I've been waiting yes Henry has so many free kick goals he has about 40 free kick goals really I didn't know yeah that. he has about 30 40 free kick goals if you're talking about in the Premier League I think it's um Ward Prowse and David Beckham mm. I think it is now that I have more than Thierry Henry mm. Henry's free kicks were deadly man you know what I mean and he could do them from far he could do them close range even as a cheeky quick one do you know what I mean Henry was a proper free kick taker and Henri was a good set piece taker as well. He didn't always take corners, not all the time, but a lot of the times he was on the corners as well. So I think Henri, when it comes to set pieces, was 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 brilliant. Honestly, set I'm going pieces. set pieces. How many strikers? Because set pieces yeah, are midfield job yeah, most tough, of the time. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Or you might get a random fullback that can take free kicks. But striker wise, I don't have seen many that can online contact Henri for free for set pieces. No, no, no. Set pieces. You've got to actually think about it. Set, set pieces this is why i was saving because i was like it's so rare like who can fall into this category bro i can't lie set pieces yeah I'm, i think i messed up here so I'm, i might have to move some stuff around now bro you sure you don't want to go with van hoydonk mate van hoydonk, this ain't fuad's fuad, van hoydonk bro i think i think i might have you know to, you know i think i might have to you know what actually i the thing is i wanted to use him for inventiveness who's that Suarez could take a free kick, bro. Yeah, he was going to be my inventive mistake. Do I have to include him here to, to play by the rules fair? Or can I move Zlatan to this and then change Ooh. volleys to someone else? Who would I go and invent it? Let me leave, uh, vo- uh, what's it called? Free kicks to the side. And okay. then let's go inventiveness. Okay. Um, this is the one I was thinking Suarez. That's what I was thinking Suarez In terms as well. of just creating something out of nothing. Incredible. Incredible, man. I, you know the one that... What's the most inventive Suarez goal you can think of? Oh, Easily. Easily, easily. And for me, it's the best goal in the Premier history. Newcastle. It's Newcastle, bro. That, oh, bro. It's the, it's, it, well, I don't care what you guys think about def- um, best, but in terms of difficulty, it's the most difficult goal in Premier history. You he reckon? received He received a 60-yard yeah. pass. First, let me tell you guys, sorry, right? Listen, nobody's actually deep in this goal enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you. Don't just break this goal down. Yeah. 60-yard pass. Yep. Is hard to control with your feet, yeah, first of all. True. Unopposed. Somebody give you a pass 60 yards and it's in the air and you have to control it on your feet, your strongest foot. It's hard to control. Luis Suarez, yeah, had to think about his movement. He had to think that he's if to stay on side. He's with Colacini, who by the way was a brute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's having to stay off Colacini, receive a 60-yard pass, keep your eyes on it, track it control it on your shoulder and in the same movement sit the goalkeeper down and then just tap it with your outside the foot all in one movement yeah, it's nuts. he didn't control it on his shoulder battle with Colicini, take on Colicini, then finish it no one shoulder drop finish incredible no you will never see a more difficult goal than that you n- no 
in terms of pure skill Audacity, of difficulty yeah, yeah. no we've seen overhead kicks done a million times we've seen volleys we've seen back heels by the way suarez has every single one of those by the yeah. way <laughs> that one is just you won't see that again you won't see that again i don't care you could do you, know, you could try that 30 million times you're not going to be able to repeat it that effortlessly with a defender on you do you think suarez has the best goal cat catalog of any striker you've seen with zlatan it'll be yeah he's going he's be, going ban for ban for ban yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah zlatan and like, suarez suarez man in terms of the i don't want to this zlatan is up there right yeah but i'm even thinking like but zlatan had like suarez was going like back heels nah, bro, that was in th the that's air. the one i was that, you know that's <laughs> the one i was thinking of right yeah. when i was thinking of most audacious one i'm thinking the one for barcelona where the ball is kind of yeah. going out wide a little the goalkeeper's out rushing and he's just like Bam! Yeah, and yeah, it just yeah. like bounces over the <laughs> goalkeeper's head. I'm like, what? Yeah, Suarez had. And then against many. Norwich, he's literally having like a goal of the season contender with himself. It's a Ronnie's battle against himself. One of them is like he flicks it over. Yeah. Oh, he fl no, he flicks it over Ronnie's. the guy, like over the guy's body, yeah. across his body, hesitates yes. midair, and then Ronnie's. hits it. And then the other one from damn near like. And then he scores a free. That's the best hat trick in Premier League. And, and then I think that same season, or maybe it's the next season, mm. from halfway, he scores yeah. against Norwich again. Yeah, that, no, that's when he, yeah, the little dink. That was a, this first season. The second one was the other he's one. He's a madman. But he just dinked he's, it he's all He's actually way. a madman. Bro, his goal catalogue is different. And like even, he's, there's actually something wrong with him. Do you him. remember that goal against, um, I think it was Stoke. He gets the ball, just nutmegs the guy and just whips it. Come on, I think, I think that was, was that his first goal for, for Liverpool? I don't even know. I think it maybe, was. Maybe. I think that's his first is goal it? for Liverpool. Wow. Suarez, inventiveness. I think it's him by far, man. By far. Inventiveness? Nah. No he's he's actually a, a madman. No I think, didn't he score with his shoulder as well? I'm sure he's got a goal where he, like, I think scored, it or something. Did. Like, yeah, some, no, Balotelli's was silly. That was cheeky, yeah. That was yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think he was, like, falling into the goal. Or was it his... No, he did something uh, at Barcelona. Bro. Anyway, he has too many, Luis Suarez. Mad Inventiveness, no one's trying. Mad no one's trying. Well, let's go back and we'll do any last-minute adjustments. Okay. Headers. Do you want to stick with Drogba? Do I want to stick with Drogba? I want to change. Headers? I want to change. Really? Yeah, I want to change. Because I need to move Drogba somewhere else. Headers. I'm going to stick with Drogba. I'm going to switch headers. I might mess up my whole list. You. I might, you, I might change up my whole list. You're bro. overthinking it. I might go headers. Headers, I'm going to go Harry Kane. Harry Kane? Yeah, Harry Kane. I th the no, he does have great headers. Yeah, Harry Kane, in terms of most headed goals in the Premier League as well. You know what is? Because Harry Kane is just a pure goal scorer and his yeah. velocity of goal scoring. So yeah, he's yeah. going to be at the top of most lists, yeah, isn't yeah. it? I'm going Harry Kane for, for, for headers. Wait, wow. You know what? You know what? I'm switching it. Two. I'm switching it. Two. Lower. 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 Lower has a lot of headers. 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 Yeah. I think lower... I'm sure there's a stat. Uh, I can tell you right now, most headed goals in the top five. Of, He's up of, there. Two years ago, top he was behind Luke De Jong and Cristiano Ronaldo. Luke De Jong? Like, Luke De Jong's a monster. Bro. Yeah, the guy's, wow. I mean, bro, you remember he scored like 30 a, year, a few years ago for PSV or something like that. 30 headers in one season? No, 30 goals. Oh, like, oh, oh. oh. No, Luke De Jong in the Eredivisie, yeah, bro. He's wow. like he's like Alan Shearer over yeah. there, bro. No, I'm going to go lower. Okay. I'm going to go lower that's, that's, because that's, I want to move Jogba to hold up play. Drood, you're a good dude. <laughs> you're a good dude, but you're stinking up my list a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're a good dude, so but Giroud was not. You know, yeah. I was thinking hold the play Diego Costa. In yes, terms of just yeah. all around animal to deal with with his back yeah. to goal. And just to kind of add some alert to the list. Yeah. I might go Diego Costa for hold the play. Okay, so wait. We go back to heading. We've so switched heading, heading, I've gone Harry Kane. You've gone. I've gone. L lower. People are gonna be like, "Why did we watch this whole video?" <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going uh, Harry Kane. You go lower. Lower. Hold the play. I go um, Diego Costa. I'm going Drogba. Drogba. Um, right foot. You're sticking with Rooney. I'm sticking with Rooney. Who do I have for my volleys? Sorry, uh, volleys. Van Persie. You had Van Persie. I had Van Persie. Persie. Wow, oh, there's so many right foots though now. Oh, that's why I'm saying of Rooney. Simple for me. Okay, Rooney, yeah. Hmm. 
Left foot. <laughs> Hold on. I'm still, now I'm thinking, do I want Benzema there instead for right foot? Ooh, nah. Benzema didn't... His foot wasn't a wand, in it? Oof. I, disagree. I wouldn't say it's a wand. I disagree. I think, think Benzema, Benzema had a wand. Yeah, one of a right foot. One. I think he had a sheer quality with his right class. Uh, I don't think he had a wand. I don't think like when Benzema hits it, it's like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know about that still. So. Uh, okay, so we'll stick with Rooney then. Yeah, Left really. foot, I got Van Persie. Adriano. Okay. Uh, weak foot. I'm going to change mine. Two. Mine was... Um, Villa. We're both going David Villa. Yeah, right? I'm going David Villa. I'm going Edin Zeko. Fair. I'm changing uh, Zeko. Power finishing. I went Adriano for this, I think. Yep. I went, yeah, you did. I went Alan Shearer. Okay. Yeah. Finesse. David Villa. Hate you. Athleticism. Or, sorry, uh, speed. Speed. Haaland. Okay. Who I'm did sticking I go, with it. Who did I go for, for, for speed? You and Torres. No, I ended up changing oh, it to Obama Yang. Uh, strength. I went Haaland for this one. Did you want to change this to Zlatan, I think you said? I wanted to change this to Zlatan. Okay. I believe... No, but no, you no, went no, skills, skills for Zlatan. Zlatan for skills. skills. I'll keep Lukaku. Okay. Um... Valdis. Mm. This one I went for his for his Latin. Yeah, I'm went with Robin Van Persie. Yeah. Uh movement. I went Cavani. Rudani Stray. Skills. Zlatan. I think I went Benzema for this one. Yeah, you did. Uh one v one we went R9. R9. Uh inventiveness. Set pieces. Now this is where oh, I'm gonna put Drogba. Thierry in. Henry. I'm putting Drogba in. Oh, you put Drogba there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just because there's not a lot of strikers yeah. in terms of set pieces, and Drogba could hit one. Thierry Henry. He had this weird technique too, of like the inside of his foot with Drogba. Uh, inventiveness. We went for Suarez. Suarez, yeah. So I don't have Lewa in my list. Yeah, I'm Lewa. See, you got even putting our BR friends, man. I've got my <laughs> for headers, <laughs> mate. Yeah, friends. mate. Robert. <laughs> you duck, by the way. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think is Lewa's best attribute as a striker? Because the thing is, he's so well rounded. It's finishing, finishing. It's his finishing, but it's we didn't really. Finishing. So let's add one finishing overall. Nah, nah. What's his best one? <laughs> Lewa and Doski. Nah, nah, don't try it, man. Because if it's then, then I got then is other strikers. Nah, for me, finishing well. Lewandowski. Yeah, who you you for, are you adding finishing in. Who, huh? What are you doing? Yes, adding finishing in yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Yes, All he, around finisher. He, he just wants to throw. All around in finisher. Guy, my bro. mate. Look my mate, that. Robert. <laughs> finishing. Then there's there's loads. I think there's Raul. I think his finishing was unreal. You Quality. know what I mean? I'd probably put Raul finishing. I right, say no more. It was a bit of a mess of a video towards the end, but we got there. I think it was fun though. I enjoyed this. It one, was fun. Man. Do you know what? Yeah. One thing I love about these videos is that. I know that everyone in the comments and I know everybody watching it is just like putting their own yeah, and getting yeah, yeah. involved. That's what it's meant to be. If you guys were at home right now having a conversation with your friends, it's going to be messy. It's going to mm. be, oh, I forgot this. Or I yeah. forgot. We didn't even put Aguero, for example. In this Agu Aguero. Yeah. Aguero has not made, uh, made it. Samuel Eto'o hasn't, yeah, has, hasn't made it. Nicolas Anelka. Yeah, crazy. There's so many strikers, man. There was guys in the, obviously I don't want to get too niche, but there was guys back then that were doing a lot of, a lot of math. Yeah, Trezeguet, yeah. Tristan. Yeah. Makai, yeah. like these are the gunmen, Forlan, yeah, yeah. these are the gunmen of, of them eras, man. But they just obviously we're trying to make a specialist type of thing. We mm -hmm. don't want to be repeating names and stuff as well, even though we've got about three of the same yeah. names, <laughs> three of the same names in yeah. certain places. But yeah, yeah, let us know in the comments for sure, man. What kind of, uh, for, give us your lists if you can keep up with it. I know we were a little all over the place, but yeah, let us know what you guys thought about each one of our lists and give us your own as well too. We're super interested. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys, of course, check out BR who continue to power this podcast on X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, all that good stuff. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Continue to grow. We'll see you next week. Peace.